Hi guys, how are you all doing and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video guys, we're going to do unboxing, repotting, updates, and care tips. So guys, let's start and please join me. So I got a package today and this is from RNT Succulents. And look at the logo guys. That's the logo, so pretty. And let's see what's inside. So first one we have, so we have one, two, three items. Oh, I have four here. So I guess they gave me a freebies. <laughs> that was cool if I got freebie. All right, let's see what we got here. So let's see what's this one. I think this is my freebie. And I got, so I don't know what sort of freebie is this. Here you go. This is the freebie I got. Some of these, maybe this is like a serum. So I don't have a name in here. Right, so next one. I think this is my order now because there is a proper label. So this is Grab 2 Beria Paraguayense Bernalense Variegated. So this is the expensive one. So let's look what's inside. Surely it's a... <gasps> look at that guy. So pretty. And I have heaps of leaf here that I can propagate later on. Oh, wow. Look at that. My first variegated one that is a bit expensive. <laughs> there you go. Pretty beautiful. Love that. Because I have few leaf there that I can propagate. So, not too bad. Now this one, this is just a common one. This one is Pachyveria rough and it's a small size. Very small. There you go. Tiny. And we can make this one big later on. It's alright. There. Another one last one so now this one is sediviria paji and it's a clump so let's look at that oh so cute there you go so sediviria paji they tend to change color during i think winter time so we'll see how it goes at the moment it's green and later on this will change color the same with the pachyveria oops <laughs> same with the pachyveria rough i've seen this one before they change into like yellow in summertime i think summertime so there you go that's so far this is what i've got for this week online shopping guys from R and T. So since this um, succulent that I got from online this week is a bit dehydrated, so what I did is I soaked them or I soaked the roots in a seaweed solution. So the seaweed solution I use is this sea soil here. So I think any seaweed solution, wherever you are, you can use it. So this one enhances the root growth and is ideal for planting and it helps the plants deal with pests, heat and frost. And it also st stimulates flowering and fruiting so we don't need that one with my succulent at the moment. So all I need is for them to hydrate the leaf and to give them a good start with their roots. So let's plant this one now. So I just uh, soaked them overnight, that's all I did, and now they are ready for planting. 
it so the first one I'm going to plant guys is this um, variegated ghost plant which is uh, Paraguayan say Bernalense so I put a styrofoam there since the pot is a bit taller and I only have one little plant here to put in this one so to so that it will not use too much soil and to avoid from rotting now I also want to remove some of this leaf and if I can use this for propagation see how it goes so I will remove few leaf and see if we can start this one for a leaf propagation and then I will place this one in my grow light Okay, get some more all right so that's about it so I have few there to propagate now let's put some soil in here some soil here a little bit more so I'm not going to plant a steeper step so this succulent guys has a leaves that is triangular with a green center and white light yellow variegation on the sides and it says that this variegation will turn into pink when it's dressed I always use top dressing to my potted succulents not only it will make them beautiful but it will also avoid the succulent leaf from sitting on the wet soil after watering that way it will avoid the leaf from rotting this pachyberia wrap has a pointed rosettes and plant foliage when stressed this succulent will turn into blue purple or pink apricot I have these freebies as well I don't have idea what they are they look so tiny so I was thinking of maybe put them around here so I'm just going to lay this leaf in here I will not water this until I see roots coming out or pops coming out so usually what I do is just lay them in a tray without any soil but since this is a special one <laughs> we will try to let it sit in the soil straight away and see how it goes from there all right now I'm going to put this one in my greenhouse This one here is the Pachyberia rough. So this Pachyberia rough grows a little bit and it starts coloring up there. Before it's closed, now it's opening. So that is the Pachyberia rough after six weeks. So guys, this is my Sediveria Pagi now after six weeks of repairing. It's open a little bit, not much of growth there, but there is a bit of growth. So after six weeks of repotting, uh, it grows a little bit. And it's still very compact and the color is not changing yet, but we will get there. And now this is my Graptopetalum Paraguayense Bernalense Varigata after six weeks. And I noticed that it grows more leaf, but still the same in size. Although there's a few babies growing at the bottom of the plant, and which I'm so excited about. And this is the leaf propagation after six weeks, sitting in my greenhouse under the grow light. 
So that's it for today guys. I hope you like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope to see you in my comment section. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. See you next time guys. Bye.